Today we're taking a look at the brand new WL Toys 104027, also known as the Street Basher. If you want to do this, and this, but you don't want to be spending that, then this may be the one for you. WL Toys fans have been looking forward to this one for a while now, and I'm super excited to take a closer look. First up, let's take a look at what you get in the box. In the box, you've got a 3000 milliamp hour 2S 7.4 volt LiPo, a USB charger, a black and white manual. We've got a wheel wrench and some spare body clips. We've got the version two transmitter, which has improved range and adjustments for your steering trim. And you also have a speed switch, which is ideal if you want to turn the power down for a beginner. There's a mode button at the back, which I'm guessing is for controlling the LED lights, but we'll check that out later. And here it is then, speed, power, spirited, full of power. Now I'm not sure I like the colour scheme on this thing, I think it's a little bit too bright, there's a lot going on. I think I would have preferred to have seen a more sleek and sophisticated body on this. I think somebody needs to have a little chat with the WL Toys design department. Now apart from the slightly odd colour scheme we've got a chrome roll cage, roof skids, again a slightly odd looking front grille, we do get a rear diffuser, a big rear wing on the back, we've also got a driver and a passenger, also a front splitter. Overall I don't think it looks too bad but again I think I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of a simple colour scheme. Moving on to the LED lights, I think this is where a lot of the money has probably been spent and one of the reasons why this thing costs as much as it does. Out the front we've got the headlights, we've also got a strip of LEDs at the bottom here and a strip at the top. On the rear we've got red LEDs here and flashing LEDs here. This thing's also got working indicators, if I turn to the right you can see that active there and then if I turn to the left you can see that working there as well. Is that something you need on this? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure it is. Now because the transmitter's got a mode button at the back there, you would expect that to control the lighting, but it actually doesn't do anything. Pressing that makes no adjustments to the LED lights at all, so those things are on all the time and you can enjoy that light show. This isn't an issue for some, but personally I'm not a fan and I would have liked a way to turn these on and off. I'm not sure why WL Toys thought this is something we would want, and I have to say I wish they left them out and charged less money for the truck itself. So let's get the body shell off and take a closer look underneath. So let's take a look under the body shell then. Now your LED lights are connected into the receiver directly from the light controller there, all of that is attached, that's not necessarily an issue, you can unplug that if you want to get some more space. We've got a 45 amp ESC, a 3650 brushless motor with heatsink, a free wire servo and a standalone receiver. We've got metal oil filled shocks, the front feel really nice but the back ones do feel a little bit bouncy. Adjustable turnbuckles front and rear, on-road tyres which are quite firm and I hope these things are readily available because I can see owners going through these things very quickly. Metal CVD drive shafts on the front, dog bones on the rear, metal centre drive shafts, finally a metal chassis and all this plastic that surrounds it is made out of like a carbon effect material. Overall very very nice. Now before we give this thing a test run, I think the biggest factor for most people here is the price. This thing costs £182 or $210 at the moment. Now let's do some comparing. The Infraction Mega costs £309 in the UK, $249 in the US, which I think is a great price. The Infraction Free SBLX is £439 in the UK and $399 in the US. Finally, the Infraction 6S, the bad boy version, is £699 in the UK and $649 in the US. When you compare it to the Infraction models, it's still considered cheaper, but it's also a lot smaller than the Free SBLX Infraction, as you can see here. What do you think, guys? Is it worth the money? Drop a comment down below. I think we've talked enough. We we need to see how this thing performs on 2S and 3S. Let's see what speeds we can achieve. Now they say this thing will do about 60 kilometers per hour straight out the box, which is about 37 miles per hour. And that is on the included 2S. Well, let's see if it can. Right, so a quick 2S speed run then. Let's see how fast it will go. Will we hit that 37 mile per hour top speed? 
Now this thing doesn't have a gyro, so you do need to be a little bit careful. It does feel quick. But is it 37 quick? Mm, I'm not entirely sure it is. Now, even though I'm not a huge fan of the LEDs, they do look quite good, especially in the daylight. Oh, it's a little bit damp today. Right, I think we'll bring it back. Let's see what we got. Okay, so stop, read. I only managed to achieve 34. 34 is still not a bad speed considering that is box stock on the included 2S LiPo. I think let's see how it performs on 3S. Right, so 3S time then. I've got a feeling this is gonna be a lot more lively. Let's see what we can get. Oh yeah, that has made this thing so much quicker. Oh, it's so slippery today. And lack of gyro doesn't help. I just can't keep this thing in a straight line. It's so slippery today. I think this is where a gyro would have come in handy. I think I would have preferred to have seen a gyro instead of the LEDs. Yeah, definitely. I think a gyro would have come in more handy than those LED lights. Oh, as soon as you hit the throttle, it spins. It is quick. It is quick and it wants to slide about. This little thing is insane. Oh, oh no, broken it already. Yeah, on 3S, it's really come alive. Right, so let's see what we got. 47 on 3S, not too bad at all. There we go then, that was the WL Toys 104027. A huge amount of fun, but again, is it worth the money? It's quick and it performs well, but I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the LED lights and the body shell. I can't help but think this thing could be priced a lot cheaper if they didn't include the LED lighting setup, and I'm pretty sure most of you are gonna agree, 
you wouldn't actually miss them. I also think at the current price, they may be pricing themselves out of the market a little bit. This should be closer to about 150 pounds, 160, 170 dollars, something along those lines. I think that would make it a little bit more appealing to most people. When I started my channel back in 2020, I remember WL Toys growing in popularity due to the success of the 144001 and the A959, and that popularity has helped them grow as a company. We've seen some very good releases since then, but the whole point of people loving them so much was their cheap price. Sadly, due to shipping costs and other factors, they can no longer sell these products at much lower prices anymore, meaning people will start considering more expensive, well-known brands as an alternative. Now that said, the good thing about WL Toys is the fact that they are very easy to upgrade. This thing could potentially be a really good 4S platform, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to make some upgrades of my own, I'm going to change the electronics, because I think this thing has got more to give. So overall then, not a bad little truck at all. I think it's a great upgradable platform. The only issue I have is the price. I think it does need to be a little bit cheaper. I would have also liked to have seen a more simple body shell, but apart from that, not a bad effort, WL Toys. Cheers for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the new WL Toys in action and I'll see you again soon on the next one. Take care.